Hello everyone and welcome to the Life Stories channel. Today we are talking about Cardi B. Benesis Marlinas Almanzar was born on October 11th, 1992 in Washington Heights, Manhattan. The daughter of a Dominican father and Trinidadian mother, she was raised in the Highbridge neighborhood of the South Bronx and spent much of her time at her paternal grandmother's home in Washington Heights which she credits with giving her such a thick accent. Almanzar developed the stage name Cardi B as a duration of Bacardi, a rum brand that was formerly her nickname. And she said that she was a gang member with the Bloods in her youth since the age of 16 and has stated that she would not encourage joining a gang. She attended the Renaissance High School for Musical Theatre and Technology, a vocational high school on the Herbert H. Lemon High School campus. During her teens, Gardy B was employed at a deli in Tribeca. She was fired and her manager suggested that she should apply to be a stripper at the strip club across the street. Cardi B has said that becoming a stripper was positive for her life in many ways. It really saved me from a lot of things. When I started stripping, I went back to school. She has stated that she became a stripper to escape poverty and domestic violence having been in an abusive relationship at the time after being kicked out of her mother's house and that stripping was her only way to earn enough money to escape the situation and get an education. She attended Borough of Manhattan Community College before eventually dropping out. While stripping, Carly B lied to her mother by telling her that she was making money babysitting. In 2013, she began to gain publicity due to the several of her videos spreading on social media on Vine and on her Instagram page. In 2015, Cardi B joined the cast of the VH1 reality television series Love and Hip Hop New York, debuting in season 6. Jazeebel considered her the breakout star of the show's 6th season. The 6th and the 7th seasons chronicle her rise to stardom and her turbulent relationship with her incarcerated fiancé. On December 30th, 2016, after two seasons, she announced that she would be leaving the show to further pursue a career in music. Now in November 2015, Cardi B made her musical debut on Jamaican reggae fusion singer with Shaggy's remix to his single Boom Boom alongside fellow Jamaican dancehall singer Pop Khan. In November 2016, she was featured on a digital cover of Vibe magazine's Viva issue and in 2016, Cardi B was featured in her first endorsement deal with Romantic Depot, which was a large New York chain of lingerie shoes that sell sexual health and wellness products. The ad campaign was featured on radio and cable TV. In May 2017, the nominees for the 2017 BET Awards were announced, revealing that Cardi B had been nominated for Best New Artist and Best Female Hip Hop Artist, tying with DJ Khalid and Kendrick Lamar for the most nominations with nine. On June 16, 2017, Atlantic Records released Cardi B's commercial debut single, Bodak Yellow, via digital distribution. She performed the single on The Wendy Williams Show and Jimmy Kimmel Live, and the song climbed the charts for several months, and on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, dated September 25, 2017, Bodak Yellow reached the number one spot, making Cardi B the first female rapper to do so with a solo since Lauryn Hill's doo-wop that thing, which debuted atop the chart in 1998. Her debut studio album, Invasion of Privacy, was released on April 6, 2018, to universal acclaim from music critics. Editors from Variety and the New York Times called it one of the most successful debuts of this millennium, and a hip-hop album that doesn't sound like any of its temporal peers. The album ended at number one in the United States while she became the first female artist to chart 13 entries simultaneously on the Billboard Hot 100 and on a chart issued dated April 21st. It also became the most streamed album by a female artist in a single week in Apple Music and the largest on-demand audio streaming week ever for an album by a woman. Cardi held the latter record until 2019 and the album's title reflects Cardi B's feelings that as she gained popularity, her privacy was being invaded in a variety of ways.
Cardi B received the five nominations at the 61st Grammy Awards, including for Album of the Year, Best Rap Album, and, and Record of the Year. And she became the third female rapper to be nominated for Album of the Year following Lauryn Hill and Missy Elliott. On February 10th, 2019, she then performed at the award ceremony where she wore three vintage Thierry Muggler Korcha looks during the telecast and became the first female rapper to win Best Rap Album as a solo artist. Cardi B also led the 2019 Billboard Music Award nominations with 21, the most nominations in a single year ever by a woman and the third most nominations in a year ever behind Drake and the Chainsmokers who both had 22 in a year. She ended up winning six awards, including for Top Hot 100, bringing her career total wins to seven, the most of any female rapper in history. An article by Omaha World Herald called her the biggest rapper in the world. And when it comes to being political, she has praised President Franklin Roosevelt for advocating for the social security program and the New Deal project in general, and has noted her admiration for his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt's humanitarianism and advocacy for African Americans. She said of President Roosevelt, he helped us get over the depression all while he was in a wheelchair. Like, this man was suffering from polio at the time of his presidency, and yet all he was worried about was making America great. Make America great again, for real. He's the real make America great again. Because if it wasn't for him, old people wouldn't even get social security. Sanders himself has praised her for her leading role in calling attention to social security. And during the 2018-2019 United States federal government shutdown, she released a video on Instagram where she said, our country is a hellhole right now. Cardi B caused controversy after throwing one of her high heel shoes at and attempted to physically fight fellow rapper Nicki Minaj at an after party hosted by Harper's Bazaar during New York Fashion Week in 2018. She later stated that Minaj had previously liked social media comments that spoke negatively of Cardi B's ability to care for her newly born daughter. Minaj denied the accusations and Cardi's cover for the spring fashion issue of Harper's Bazaar in early 2019 featured her in a Cinderella themed photo shoot wearing a red gown and leaving one shoe behind, which some interpreted as a reference to the incident. As of early 2017, Cardi B began publicly dating fellow American rapper Offset of the southern hip-hop group Migos. When speaking on her relationship with Offset, Cardi B told the fader, It's been a blessing. Me meeting him and meeting his friends, I see how hard they work, and that motivated me to work even harder. And I see how good things are going for them and how popping it is to be number one. And I'm like, I want that. A lot of people just see the jewellery and they see the money. But I don't think a lot of people see how hard they work for that shit every single day. Cardi B and Offset became engaged on October the 27th, 2017, after Offset proposed to her at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia during the Power 99 Powerhouse concert. On October the 7th, 2019, during her second performance of Saturday Night Live, Cardi B wore a white Christian Soriano evening gown, which, along with several deliberate camera side shots, revealed her pregnancy. She was about six months pregnant at the time, and in July 2018, Cardi B gave birth to her first child, a daughter named Culture Kiari Cephas. And that's it today, guys. If you like this, then please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.